Hey guys, this is the Revolving Battle Fox here, and I wanted to make another video in my new series called Cosplay. How I choose what anime conventions I want to go to, or something like that. So, in the last videos, or last few videos, I've covered the uh, location, I covered VIP passes, and I covered the community. So, today I want to talk about the genre if I'm pronouncing that right so for the purpose of this video the, when I say genre I mean what the what emphasis is uh, being placed on the convention or what is the convention mainly focused on for example you have a uh, uh, cons out there that focus on anime superheroes, manga, video games, uh, furries, you got business conventions, um, so yeah, you got a whole gamut of, uh, different types of conventions out there, but, you know, for the purpose of this video, we'll stick within the realm of cosplay, um, so, for me personally, this is not a major factor, well, it is and it's not. It kind of goes both ways, and I'll try to explain it. For one, it's not a major decision breaker in the title alone. So, naturally, a lot of Comic Cons, what I mean by this is, a lot of Comic Cons, they will base uh, their conventions around superheroes, like Marvel, DC, Things like that. So naturally, you're going to see a lot of uh, comic book cosplays. You'll see people dressed up as Deadpool or like Superman, Spider-Man, Batman. Somewhere in that area. And I'm one of the tens of people in uh, the United States that does not keep up with like Marvel or whatnot. I can't tell you who all's on the Marvel side. I can't tell you who I was on the DC side. I know a few here and there, but for the most part, I don't follow it. I just, I go to free comic book day, but I've never really been a big comic book fan. And this may surprise a lot of people, but I don't watch a lot, a lot of movies. 98, or I should even say like 99% of the movies most people in America have watched, I've never watched before. And we're, we're talking about simple movies like Pocahontas or the early Disney movies, Little Mermaid, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I don't really watch a lot of movies. Having said, well, saying that, that lets you know I don't keep up with the Marvel movies or anything like that. So people are like, oh, did you see this or that? Like, no, I haven't seen it. I, I haven't even seen Black Panther. Or I don't I don't even know what the latest Marvel movie coming out is. And it's mostly I'm a gamer. Okay. I, I don't really like to sit through a movie or a TV show for the most part. For the most part. There are exceptions to that rule, but for the most part I don't like to sit through them. I like to be interactive. Because if I if I'm watching like a good movie I hate that I can't be in it. Same goes with anime or TV shows or whatever. And um, I actually did a video on this. I think it was titled, Why I Prefer Video Games Over Anime. So yeah, long story short, short I prefer to be interactive. Now I know this this, this is uh, going off a tangent in like the first four minutes. So let me bring it back. So basically... Um, I'm not as likely to go to a uh, Comic Con if that is the sole focus. Now, if it's close to my area, like Green, like the South Carolina Comic Con in Greenville, yeah, I will go there. Because uh, Comic Con nowadays tends to be all-encompassing. You know, meaning I'll see anime and video game characters or cosplays there. So, it's really a hit, a hit or a miss. Personally, I don't think that there are many comic book exclusive cons. Like, sure, the comic book superheroes will take priority, but 
ninety-eight percent of the time, I'm guessing, you're gonna you're gonna find a Deku there, from like uh, <laughs> in the Comic Con. That's just how it is. My Hero Academia is popular, so in that in that regards, I won't solely reject going on those bases. Now I think. Uh, now when it comes to like San Diego Comic Con where the big thing is pop culture or comic books now that would be one big exception I just I have a very little desire to go to a comic con like that because you know the focus cause is going to be on that or like a New York Comic Con where you, you know the focus is going to be on Deadpool or The Walking Dead or Doctor Who or someplace like that and then you have Dragon Con in Atlanta. And I have a very little desire to go. Don't get me wrong. If someone wanted to offer me a plane ticket and uh, a ticket into South uh, San Diego Comic Con or a ticket to Dragon Con and pay my way there, yeah, I would love to go to see what a big fuss is about. But personally, I'm not banging down the door to go to those type of things. And I know Dragon Con would probably be a little bit more, I guess, inclusive. But still, the focus there is like, and correct me if if I'm wrong, but just from the limited study I've done and from the people I've talked to, it, you got more of a focus on um, this pop culture, Star Trek sci-fi stuff. Steampunk is there, apparently, and I like steampunk, so I would go for that. But, um, I'm guessing, like, yeah, your Walking Dead, your doc, your Doctor Who, maybe your Star Wars, or your Star Wars, or your crossovers, like, your, like, a sail, a cross between Sailor Moon and Wonder Woman, that type of stuff. So, it's, it's a lot more encompassing and a lot more unique in that sense. But, for me, personally, I still think it's kind of too far out there for me to feel like I can enjoy myself. So basically, what when I look for a convention, I look for things I can enjoy. Um, and basically, my main thing is, I would prefer a, a convention that has a, a basis in anime and video games. Kind of together. If I had to choose one, I'll go with anime. Because um, you got video game conventions like E3, which to my knowledge, is there's not a lot of cosplayers there. It's more like a business type of convention. But then, then again, you got Momocon, which has this emphasis, heavy emphasis on gaming. And that was right up my alley. Personally, because I thought they, uh, they had a, a nice mix, even though, you know, they're both gaming and kind of anime. Because, you know, a lot of these things are interchangeable. Like, a lot of animes have video games, and some video games happen to adapt anime. Or adapt an anime, like the Persona series. So, like, Momocon would probably be that best balance. But, um, if I had to choose, aside from Momocon, I don't really know any other heavy type of gaming conventions that are, or uh, cosplay conventions that are focused on gaming. If you guys have a suggestion, let me know. Um, but there's Anime Expo. I, I like the focus to kind of be on anime because usually when you have an anime following, there's going to be a video video game following too. Usually. Now, I'm going to Anime Weekend Atlanta. And this will be my first time going. I heard that the, there's a heavy emphasis on anime. But I'm, I'd be curious to check out the video game scene. And not like the arcades in general, but just the, the cosplayers and just the atmosphere. Just to see if it's kind of compatible with uh, those who are primarily there who watch for anime or who watch anime. So yeah, um, then you got things like a, a furry con, which I've never been to a furry con. I've never really had a desire to go, but I wouldn't mind going to see what the big fuss is about. Um, I know the furry community gets a bad rap, but it seems like it'd be fun to dress up as a big horse or something. Big panda. Maybe Kuma from, like, Tekken. Or Panda from Tekken. That'd be kind of cute. I actually do have, like, a Ted bear. 
I, a cosplay outfit that I got from GameStop. I regret it. I got it with like 50,000 rewards points that I had at the time. And, I, and of course, I've never watched a movie Ted Bear or whatever it's called, Ted. So I really don't know what it's about other than like a vulgar teddy bear. So I'm kind of afraid to wear it because people be like, hey, Ted. And I'm just like, hi. So, and, and then it gets hot when I typically go to conventions. So yeah, that's that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to throw that out there. I wouldn't mind trying like a furry convention in Atlanta as long as, you know, it doesn't get too weird. And not to call that weird, but I know these things can get like a bad rap for like orgies or whatnot. And I don't, I don't even want to uh, put too much emphasis on it. But as long as it, as long as it could be like a family friendly environment, but hey, I, I wouldn't knock it. I wouldn't mind trying it once, but just being in that hot weather and doing that, nah. Is I could tell you this, it's not something I'd be banging down the door to go to go up to. Not when I got like eight other conventions I want to try in a year, or like five to eight or nine or whatever. So yeah, um, and then you got manga conventions, which that really doesn't interest me since I rarely read manga. The only manga I'm reading right now or trying to read is uh is I'm trying to catch up on like the My Hero Academia manga. And I'm like ten chapters behind. I'm on chapter two hundred and twenty three, so I need to do that soon so I can stay up to date and make more My Hero Academia manga videos or videos that I can just talk about freely without having to worry about what happens in the future or spoilers or whatever. But anyways, yeah, guys, I think that uh, that covers it. And I have to use the bathroom, so if you happen to like this video, check out my other videos. Like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want to be so kind and gracious to help send me to Anime Weekend Atlanta, I will have a GoFundMe in the, in, underneath the description below. Check out my eBay store. Most of the proceeds from my sales, they'll help go towards that. Or at least right now, getting a ticket, I will hope. Um, so yeah, guys. I will see you all in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.